Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about compound interest. Now if you invest your money with someone who gives you compound interest instead of simple interest, you are bound to get more interest. Why? Because compound interest gives you interest on your interest. If you find that confusing, well let me tell you that compound interest is the interest on your principal amount and your previous year's interest as well. Well to understand this much more better, let us solve a problem. So the question is you have to find the amount on the investment of 1000 rupees for 3 years at 10% per annum. So we will find the amount if we use simple interest and also we will find the amount if we use compound interest. Now we know the formula for simple interest that's PNR upon 100. So I can find the interest which is equals to the principal amount is 1000. So 1000 times the number of years is 3 times the rate is 10 upon 100. And these zeros get cancelled out. What I have is the interest is equals to 300 rupees. Okay. So the amount will be the principal plus interest and that will be equal to 1300 rupees. So this is the amount if we calculate the amount using simple interest. Now let us turn towards compound interest. Now compound interest is calculated for each year. Right. So for the first year the interest will be calculated on the principal plus the previous year's interest. Now for the first year there will be no previous year's interest. Right. So the interest will be equal to it is calculated at 10% per annum. So 10% of 1000. So this will be equals to 100 rupees. Now the amount will be the principal plus the interest and that's 1000 plus 100. So 1100 is the amount after first year. Now for the second year the interest will be calculated on the principal plus previous years interest. Now this is basically principal plus previous years interest the amount. So we have interest is equals to again 10% of the amount obtained in the previous year. So that's 10% of 1100 and that's 110. So the amount will be principal plus this interest. So this is the principal 1100 plus 110 and that's 1210. So this is the amount for the second year. Now same will be the case with third year. The interest will be equals to again 10% of the previous year's amount and that's 1210 and that will be 121. Now the amount will be 1210 plus 121 and that is 1331. So you see compound interest is much more interesting and much more beneficial to you. Now when solving problems you don't need to follow this long procedure. There is a formula for calculating the amount on compound interest. So when the interest is compounded annually this is the formula. The amount is equals to the principal into 1 plus r upon 100 raised to n in which a is the amount, principal is p, r is the rate of interest which is per annum and n is the time given in years. So with this formula let us solve a problem. Now this is the same problem that we solved earlier a couple of minutes ago. You have to find the amount on the investment of 1000 rupees for 3 years at 10% per annum at compound interest. So what we want is the amount and this is the principal, this is the number of years and this is the rate of interest. So we have the amount is equals to principal into 1 plus r upon 100 raised to n. So the principal is 1000 into 1 plus the rate of interest is 10 by 100 raised to the number of years is 3. This 0 and this 0 gets cancelled out. What we have here is 1000 into 1 plus 1 by 10 that's 11 by 10 cube. Right. So we have 1000 into 11 into 11 into 11 divided by 10 into 10 into 10. So these zeros get cancelled out. 
So 11 cube is 1331 and that's the amount. Easy isn't it? So this is how you solve problems on compound interest. Mostly you have to enter the details or the data into the formula and there you go you got the answer. Let us now look at some subtle differences in the formula of compound interest based on whether it is compounded annually, half yearly or quarterly. Now you know this formula when the interest is compounded annually. Its amount is equals to principal into 1 plus rate upon 100 raised to the time period. Now when the interest is compounded half yearly, you have to halve the rate and double the time period. right? So the formula becomes A is equals to P into 1 plus half of the rate upon 100 raised to twice the time period. Now obviously when the interest is compounded half yearly you are going to halve the rate. Now why did you double the time period? Because two half years is one year. That's why we doubled the time period. Now same is the case when the interest is compounded quarterly. So the rate will be divided by 4 and the time period will be multiplied by 4. Right? So you should remember these formulas. If you remember them, it becomes very easy to solve problems.